So yesterday I did check my stock broker and one share of Netflix was charged well over $1,100. Today I opened the app and the same one share of Netflix cost slightly over $100. What the heck happened here? But don't worry, friends, this is totally normal. Netflix, like many other companies, just went through a 10 to 1 stock split, which basically means if you previously owned one whole share of Netflix, you will now own 10 full shares of Netflix. But at the same time, the price for one share is now one tenth of the previous price. So your total portfolio value of Netflix shares remains unchanged and so does the company valuation. And that's exactly what you want to be looking for. And not so much the stock price of a company because it really doesn't tell you anything because those do change over time. In fact, it's not the first time that Netflix has done that. They've done it in the past and most likely they will continue to do this in the future. Companies usually do this if the price is starting to run up too high because obviously one share over $1,000 makes it potentially less attractive for investors. But once again, the price doesn't tell you anything, especially in today's age where most stockbrokers allow you to buy fractional shares. It's more of a psychological reasons that companies once in a while do these kind of stock splits to make their shares seem more affordable. But hopefully by now you won't be falling for that trick. Instead, look at the fundamentals and valuations of the company you plan to invest in.